it goes back in history, and there, there are a lot of history. And it's, uh, my father brought out the sound system, and he brought part of the sound system from Jamaica, and to here back in the fifties, whatever. And that's how we really started. So it really is a, it's a family, a family thing, and that's how really Channel One started to progress from Admiral Bailey days, right up to from King Edwards, right up to um, Channel One sound system. And then this is how we talk about the 40, 50 years of this. Never look out to happiness is so. Never look out to happiness is so. Never look out to happiness is so. And like, likewise myself, grew up in a house where my father had a sound system. Wasn't a sound system like what we have today. Because back then, it wasn't just about playing reggae, it was about playing soul, jazz, country and western, calypso. It's just a mixed variation of music that we, me and Mikey, we grew up with because of our parents coming back from the Caribbean and bringing that rich culture with them here. So obviously, <laughs> us growing up in a house of music, it was just like a natural pro progression for us to carry on the works that like what our father had started up. Systems we should know about song systems, Kong Shelley, Duke Vin, all these, all these songs, and Neville the Enchanter, all these songs what we used to listen to, what my, my dad used to go out and, and I listened to, or I used to play, what uh, Admiral Ken, all these song systems, what was there around at that time. And then you just hear these song systems coming in because it was all, sometimes you used to have people around, the, around in the house talking about music, talking about song system. So, uh, you're just there as a youth. Taking it in, taking in all the knowledge and whatever it is. So, you know, these are the things what you can't buy, you know. So, song systems of, of, of today, who just coming out today, these things you cannot buy, this history. You know, you have to live it. And on each street around. Our school around our area used to have probably one or two sound systems. And all the time we used to use a community centre to go and play one of the, whether it's two boxes or three boxes or whatever. And that's how we used to start growing with the sound system. So we used to make that our, our, our own. In, in my house, I used to disappear every Saturday. Every Saturday I used to be there. Because where I was, I was in the basement making building boxes. As you see, and when my mother and my father said, Where's Mike? Nobody can find Mike because I'm downstairs <laughs> building boxes. I was in the three, three, four you're, hours. You're lucky you had a basement to build yeah, it in. I'm building that in my bedroom, bro. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Passage, Basement, balcony, everywhere. anywhere. As you see, the only thing I couldn't, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, what my mother used to complain of when I'm painting a box downstairs and the smell Sweat of beer come yeah. everywhere, you yeah. see? So, so yeah, that was, um, those are the days. It was a climate of racism, um, disfranchisation, like you wouldn't get the opportunities, there was no equal opportunities. It was, when I left school, it was very difficult to get a job. Like there was three million people unemployed in England when I left school back in 1979, 80, when the same conservative government that we have in power now, they were in power then and yeah, it was hard. We had the police, we used to have a law called SUS, that boy, if you just look suspicious, that was it. You would get locked up, you would get charged and you would have a criminal record. The music, and especially sound system, 
kept a, kept a lot of us at our harm's reach because um, it gave us something to focus on. It gave us something to work towards and there was a collectivity amongst all of us young black British youths that, yeah, we would use music as our vehicle to, as a form of escapism to get away from, boy, the everyday hustle and bustle and the fight that we would get from the system. You could have problems at home, problems at work, problems, you know, just everyday life. I think, and you come to certain sound systems to get that upliftment. And it, because when you leave that session or that dance or that event, you go home with a different idea and a different knowledge of how you're going to tackle tomorrow. And it's not just a session, people come. As Joe said, the people come for upliftment. And that's the spiritual part. And the, and the other part, the educational part, is that when you have young kids in the dance itself, when you have young kids in the dance, they realize what you're doing. They notice what you're doing. And the foremost, they see elders doing certain things right. But when they see elders doing certain things right, they need, they said, I need to be disciplined. We all have our identities. You see, now you can go into this, and this is what, this is what I mean about things. You can go into Aisa Scala and Channel One Aviation and Abishanta is clear. Mm -hmm. You can close your eyes and you know what sound is playing. And this is what I'm talking about, ID. Identification about yourself and the character of that your sound system. You have to develop a character of your own sound system. Not just to follow another guy because he might have X amount of power and you know he can blow the building and whatever. No, you have the people who look at you, and with that you have the character. When you have the char character, you can develop your music differently. Uh, just like having a studio. You know, the jammies sounds different from King Toby's. You know, you know the revolutionary sound different from the aggravators. Yo, listen. Greetings and love in the name of the Emperor, yes, and I see the first. Remember, the people are coming there for you to do something for them. So that spiritual aspect and that interaction with the people as a selector, an operator, a, a, a mic man, yeah, all of that has to come together on the night to make that message and that special feeling that you only get from certain sounds. It's a very, very special feeling that where a lot of thought process has gone into the mood and the whole vibration of what you've come to present. To me, that is the fundamental aspect of a sound system. his teachings and his works, that's what's drawn you to us in what we're doing, because um, that feeling and those teachings, you don't hear from nobody else. Yeah, that oneness and that collectiveness, you don't hear from nobody else. You know, it, his Majesty was a great adversary for peace. And when he made that speech to the League of Nations, we've lived to see that fulfill itself. That boy, until people understand that you can't be discriminating each other against each other based on the color of your skin. Music, 
climbs over even language barriers. You know, there's a lot of people that have learned how to speak English just through listening to music. You know, they hear this harmonious music and these harmonious melodies and we need to understand what is this person saying because the feeling I'm getting from the words that he's saying, you know, they must be good words. So within that, in people that we know in Japan and that, yeah, they've learned through the music. People that we've known in France, they've learned through the music. Even some of the remotest places that we've gone to play, yeah, they understand about Rastafari, right? they know about His Majesty and they know about the work that we're doing. Carnival is a testament of people that come to that come there and take that experience and go back to other countries and start building sound systems and start trying to recreate what they've experienced in England. So, yeah, England. I would say when it comes to reggae music and our unique take on playing sound system, yeah, that's a UK phenomenon. That. And the UK is a very big contributor to the distribution of reggae and sound system throughout the world. In the UK, Root Sound Systems started carrying it with a different message from the Jamaican sound systems and with a different message from any other black culture. We started to bring the message of Rastafari to everybody. Some wrestlers are not happy about that. But we are not some wrestlers. <laughs> that is played is for His Majesty, right? There's a message within the music, even within Revelation, for those who read their Bible, it says that music is gonna come up within the last days, that the whole world is gonna take to their hearts. And what I realize nowadays, through the sound system, that this music to me is Roots Rock Reggae. The message is for everyone, yes? because we all come from one seed. There has to be a way. Yep, music, more music, and more music, you know? <laughs> yeah, man. That's a good idea. Oh, there has to be a way. There has to be a way. To bridge the breadth of the strap. Some way, my poor parents came here a long time ago with a dirty plan that was oh so low. They came here searching for fortune and fame. Sugar and slaves was the name of.